everyone welcome to my channel backyard gardening life my name is d located in georgia uh, zone 8a um it's been several weeks already since i have posted anything on the channel uh it's been cold rainy and really ugly outside to be like do anything i didn't feel like just coming outside <laughs> and um we do have another storm coming up next week it's supposed to be really cold and windy but today uh february 3rd and weather is a beautiful so i thought you know what let's just go on and do some work so i have done already a little bit of work here but i do have a lot of stuff that i've got to do um i although i have not been posting anything i was still uh, busy i purchased like seeds i purchased garlic and asparagus and lots of flowers to plant in my garden uh, so far today, I already um, moved one raised bed and another I'm almost done with that. But uh, I gotta go ahead and wrap it up really quick. But uh, I want to show you what the progress is and um, what I plan on doing. And also in this area behind me, I've been deciding like thinking a lot of stuff like how I want the layout to be. I think I want my raised bed to like go in the same direction but um so far i want to do a little walkthrough with you just to show you what i have so i'm almost done emptying this raised bed right here so what i was thinking of having all these raised beds right here and i want to have like a a long walk through that you can just walk between the raised beds and in between the raised beds over here i want to put one of those raised beds right here i already started to put together but i'm not done yet and i believe this space is pretty good i need to get my lawnmower out to make sure i can walk through them uh, to cut the grass but i so far i think this is what i'm gonna do and on this section right over here so i'm gonna put one over here one over here and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put four more raised beds over here for flowers some of the dirt that i took from there i put them over here it's temporarily because i really do not know since i have not decided what i want it's going to stay here so we had a lot less of rain and because of that and i don't have any borders over here it washed away a lot of dirt um look at all the spinach they're doing really good my temperature drops like like 14 degree the lowest one and i didn't really do anything i just came out and watered them one time and that was it and they're doing really good i already did har some harvest from here so but it was really beautiful so another project that i'm going to do today you see this lettuce over here i threw a bunch of lettuce romaine seeds over here and some over here some over there to see if it's gonna grow anything this actually start to come out so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take all of this from here and plant them on individual containers and give them a nice liquid fertilizer and once they are really like good size i'm gonna put them back on the ground but that's one of the projects that i will be doing today so as far as dirt i'm not gonna i'm gonna go ahead and move the last one but before that I'm gonna go ahead and plant my garlic that I have and I'm gonna do that get, like I want to finish that off because I'm getting tired I've been here in the mornings like a couple of hours already I haven't had any lunch I haven't had anything to eat so also I need to pull that parsley that I have and it looks like there's some like a lot of yellowish there look at this this needs to be all cleaned out at this this only needs to be cleaned out um cold didn't bother them really i think it was like wind that came along there's a lot of stuff that we're gonna do here but anyways i should be able to harvest some of them like all the yellow ones they need to be gone. and i'm gonna put them in the compost too it's not like i'm gonna throw them away so tomorrow so i'm just gonna slip over this layout that i have in my mind and uh 
tomorrow I Sunday I should be able to like know exactly what I want I just want to think about it a little bit even though I've been thinking about it for a long time I just have to move every dirt here put all those raised bed together and like put them in its space I'm thinking and then I should be able to like oh this is what I want this is really, I really like this one so all right well let's get started and plant some garlic and these are the ones that I'm planting it's from like a um, I purchased them from Home Depot and they are like soft neck garlic and I believe all of that I have over there they are also soft neck garlic and let's see let's start from this right here so I'm just going to literally like only use do only one line and go all the way around and probably use another race bed if I need to so but I'm not gonna go on this side like I did with the other one so just make sure when you plant your garlic make sure this side is up and just put them all the way in and cover them oh no I don't want to cover them right now because I need to know the distance between both of them so usually most people plant the largest one but I'm going to plant every single one in here I don't care the size of the garlic that I'm going to get because what I eventually doing is I'm going to pray every one of them and um, just and then make like a little balls like a one tablespoon and then freeze them and when I need to use them I'll just take it out so size don't matter for me so I'm gonna plant one over here that's good Not upside there. <laughs> Looks like there's two in here. Let me go ahead and take this. Look, this is a small one, but you know what? I'm gonna give it a chance to grow. Oh my gosh, at the last minute I realized what I did. I need to be more careful. I put the downside up. Oh my gosh, and this was a really good garlic I would have had missed. So let's see. Now I doubt. I'm sure I put every one of them. Look at my baby girl right there. Such a good girl. I 
Uh, so I want to be very extra, extra careful not to disturb the roots or um, like get this one here. I watered the lettuce and uh, one that I, mo I removed from the dirt and I'm just, just gonna leave it right there. I'm not gonna plant it anywhere else. They're, those are gonna go in those raised beds right there. So that's why it needs to be in the container. So, end of this month, I should have all those raised beds filled. I'm gonna do a lot of planting like uh, more lettuce, peas, everything that's for spring gonna go over there also the seedlings that i started back in november they're doing excellent i fed them twice and the third time i uh, i gave them a root stimulator it's supposed to help the plant grow really strong roots but they're doing excellent uh i did leave them outside for a week they were they did pretty good but uh since it was gonna go down like a 31 32 degree in the evenings i put them back in the house but by next week those gonna be planted as well they will be planted on this four raised beds that's right over here so this area is almost ready i need to buy a fertilizer to put them on here and uh, maybe a little bit add a little bit more dirt i'm not sure but they're gonna go right here i am done for today i don't have anything else um maybe i'll walk on the uh, last two raised beds raised beds the square raised beds tomorrow uh i'm tired it's already like noon and i've been working in the backyard probably a good like three hours already but uh i'm done <laughs> but look at this all this work that's developing we're almost done as far as the layout so i just have that's the last section once i have cleared out and put all the raised bed in place it's gonna start looking good over here i do want to buy trellises and on two of those raised beds like one here and one over there it's gonna look really nice and also i need to get mulch put in here because i really do not want any like deal with uh, weeds in this area 
Once I have the raised beds in place, I need to work on the borders as well. So that's going to be in here. I need to cut the grass. The weeds are coming out everywhere. I need to fertilize the grass on this side. But a lot of work that is waiting for me. I also have more lettuce over here. I think I need to separate them or do something with that. The stairs are pretty good still. Cold temperatures did not hurt them. And look at this area right here. It's gonna be all grass thing. You're doing pretty good. Hi mama. Alright guys, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully uh, on the next project that we are working in the backyard we should have a good a good idea of how the layout should be and it should start uh, coming together and and then start planting my spring vegetables and let them get get started because by may they need to come out because i'm gonna in a few weeks i'm gonna go ahead and start tomatoes and peppers and eggplant uh, seeds so I do have a lot of stuff coming up. But anyways, I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you again.